Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigi here, getting ready to take out the Japanese A5M4 in their arcade. Um, advantages on this are climb rate and speed. It can go pretty damn fast. It climbs very well. Um, downside is just the 2.2 7mm guns don't hit very hard. Uh, doesn't take damage very well. And uh, anyways, that's about it. Let's take it out see what we can do. All right, so the map is an air dome. We've got our stealth ammo, 800 meter targeting distance and minimum fuel load. Then climb slightly off center at 30 degrees. And check out our competition. It should be a 1 3 2 3 match. There's a 2 3 on their side, alright. So they've got a couple bombers. Couple attackers, two squads of two working together on their side. Uh, key to the air dom is to get um, above the other team. So when you're above them, they'll climb up to you typically. A lot easier to stall them out and shoot them down, and a lot harder for them to catch you. So we're climbing about 180 right now. Got a P400 climbing on their side. He has great offensive armament, uh, but he's kind of slow, and if we can get him to miss on the first run, we should be fine. Not terribly worried about him. We're just going to keep an eye on the guys below us. None of them come up for us. We're just going to leave them all alone for now. Really focus on getting that energy up. P400's turning in. We're probably going to be the target he goes after. So best thing to do when he gets close like this is just try to get underneath his guns. Yeah, that guy's throwing freaking pumpkins at us. Shot at the end there, buddy. You should not turn fight with us. Don't tell him that. Turn the favor of shooting each other. Alright, we got him to duck off. That's good enough. I mean, it's always better to shoot him down. It's more fun, but uh, a lot of times on Nerdom it's enough just to push him down. So we're going to get after this SU. Hey, he's boring. We're buggering off. So we are eventually going to dive down into the dogfight, but for right now, we're just going to make ourselves look like a good target for somebody coming out of their spawn. And then if they don't come up after us, we'll just dive in behind them and uh, see if we can get a couple that are going into the battle there. What we don't want to do is get stuck in a dogfight over here because we're definitely on the uh, opponent's side of the battlefield. Up to 350 miles per hour, that's nice. I think we're doing right here, which makes it easy. I-15 down low. He's not looking at thinking about us either. Let's go ahead and shallow climb. Try to save some of that speed and energy. TBD looks like first target. Good. 112. We're just going to continue over to where our guys are. You want to be where you can get support if you need it. P36. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and reload and uh, try to gain a little bit of altitude here. We'll go ahead and flip back in. Our 
Our team's looking good. Radar's looking good. TBD in front of us is the closest target. Gonna have to climb stall to get to him. He does have a 50 cal on the front. So you gotta be careful. Of him. And a 50 cal gunner as well. Gunner's looking at us. Good hits. Alright. So I'm assuming our guys are going to follow us. Let's get out of the way of the 112. He's throwing 20 mils. Shots come in, which means we gotta move. It's gonna slot behind the P36. Dog fights like this, you gotta use your ears to hear when you get shot at. Hopefully, before they start to hit you. Alright, he's finally down. 12's next. I'll reload. And 12's down. Slot in behind the HE. Good. We have two's next target. coming in on the radar, so I wanted to break off and see what we're up against. Reloaded. TBD's down. And reload again. So yeah, the right way to play it is to stay up high in these air domes, but uh get a hell of a lot more action getting low with everybody else. We have two C's getting ganged up on. Still. HE-51 coming in. Doesn't look like he's looking at us. by friendlies, so luckily no friendly fire in uh, their arcade. We gotta be getting semi-low, yep. Alright, let's go help with these guys. He's falling out of the sky. I'm assuming between the four of them they could get that guy. So we're just gonna climb for the BF2C. If one or one or both of the guys below us, our opponents aren't dead when we get here, we'll go after them. That's exactly what happened. All right, peace shooter first, he shoot at our buddy. We got away with the ram there. 112. Six coming in low. Reloading two. Don't want to do a head on, but I don't want to just let him shoot at us either. He's 
supposed to. Alright, let's see what's next. F3F. Yeah, Side run. Chest one twenty three. Looking chewed up. Let's head back in. I just wanted to get over to where we had a few of our guys for support. Yeah, never hurts. Most likely thing to happen at this point is to get a ram one of our friendlies rather than get shot down. Hits. I'm taking back what I said about these guns. They seem to be working just fine. Two seconds to the reload. Let's get out of that mess. I see you coming in. I want to stay underneath this back gunner. It's a great back gunner. A couple small hits. Yeah, that back gunner. As low as possible here. Some of those should be hits. It's back gunner. Okay. It's either reloading or dead. I'm getting out of there. Alright, team got the cap. Not much left to do other than take this thing into the ground. So I do love an air dome. Uh, we ended up with 17 air targets, a couple assists. We got Hero of the Sky. We got Survivor for not dying, getting the most kills. And uh, first place on the team. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.